I'm from Robinson County, a rural, rural little town, uh, poor town at that. There were 10 siblings. Uh, we grew up on the farm and at that time there were no uh, power tools or anything like that. We just worked. We had mules, wagons, uh, the hoes, the shovels, the picks, all those things that we used, nothing power. It was just manual labor. Uh, we went to church. Going to church, we rode on the uh, back of a truck, going to Sunday school. That was a staple for us. We had to go to church. You know, you, if you go out, and actually we were too tired to go out uh, from working, uh, but we, ate, we stayed in Sunday school all the time. We stayed in church all the time. You know, but it was good. It, it helped me to be uh, the man that I am now. My dad left us at an early age. At one point, uh, we were separated from our one another. Some of my siblings were staying with aunts, uncles, my grandparents, but eventually, as time went on, we were able to get back together. Uh, my grandfather, he was the one that really, I really honed and, and got my skills from. Growing up and being around him, he taught us the very importance of keeping our shirts in our pants, uh, yes, sir. No, sir. You know, and a good work ethic. Uh, and I thank God for that. I played uh, football in high school. I was very uh, dominant running back during that time. I received several letters uh, from Clemson University, uh, Garner Webb, but Elon, Elon at that time, Elon College, uh, they offered me a full scholarship. I jumped on it. Matter of fact, Elon is where one of the best things that happened to me, matter of fact, apart from having Jesus in my life, that's where I met my wife. Uh, of course, I chased her for four years, but it was worth it. When I uh, graduated from college, I, uh, I was a substitute teacher here in Raleigh. I was mainly over at Enloe High School. I was there almost every day. Matter of fact, the students, uh, they thought I was a regular teacher, but I was just a substitute but I was assistant football coach. Again, I, I, I utilized the skills that I had to coach uh, at the time, saw that uh, I had some potential and I could help the football team. New Year's Day, January 98, we were sitting at the table, Janice and I, and I said, Janice, I'll be 60 or 70 seeing what I could have, should have done. I said, I want to start my own business. This is what she said. Uh, she said, Harris, you know the bills, you know the income, go for it. That was all I needed to hear. And as a result of that, I never looked back. I uh, started visiting up a room uh, back in, I think it was 2000. We visited three years before I ever joined. I noticed uh, while visiting up a room, I said, man, those shrubbery need, need trimming. And so what I decided to do because you know, you just can't go on nobody's property and start working. I wanted to find out who I needed to talk to uh, about doing some things around the church. Again, I wasn't looking for anything. I wasn't looking for any pay. Uh, I just wanted to do it. I've always been a servant and it's just in me. But I really pay attention to churches because I believe the church, the landscape of the church, should be one of the nicest things there is because that's one of the first things people see, you know, driving up to the church or to the property. I take pride in my work. I'm meticulous, peculiar, uh, I'm proactive. I like to do things or see things and do it before somebody say, Harris, a brother fault, why isn't that done? Or why isn't this done? This is what I know. I believe in the God of the Bible. I believe in God, I've always believed in God, and that is my source. Oftentimes I think about, uh, I look at uh, Jesus when he was walking on the water. Peter saw him, Lord, uh, Jesus told him to come. And so that's he, faith, he had the faith, I had the faith to believe and know that the Lord would bless whatever I was attempting to do. And he has. I'm Harris Falk, and I'm a 2021 hero.